I'm Lucas from Xarts, and today we are in Space Engineers. Now, some of you um, subscribers from uh, quite a while ago may remember the series. Um, we did two episodes on it, and we didn't really come back to it, um, which was a bit of a shame, but I thought I'd bring it back just because this will record quite well compared to Minecraft at the moment because I got a new PC and a new graphics card with that. Apparently the graphics card is too powerful to run Minecraft. I'll have more on that on an update video that may be happening soon. But anyway, today I'm showing you about stealth crafts and infiltrating enemy bases. So here in front of us we have a kind of stealthy infiltrator. Um, this is very hard to detect, um, especially at long ranges. A little easy at close ranges, a little more obvious. But um, it's very easy to detect, and uh, since it's remote control, you can never really actually be attacked. Easy to reproduce, and it uses quite a, cool f um, a few cool mechanics. Wait, wait, you you thought I meant this little thing? No, no, I I mean this over here, our cloaked ship over in here. I was using that as a little distraction, but um, here it is, um, amongst all these other ships, and this is basically disguising our drone as their ship without actually having to replicate their ships exactly because maybe they'll have like a, a beacon or it'll be set to friendly or something like that um i don't know or this will be a lot more expensive to make just to have gunned down at first sight because this will not always work of course you know enemies can be vigilant um as with anything but it was just a cool little concept that i thought i'd come up with like a cloaking device and the good thing about this drone is it can switch out its disguise at any time if you want to change out the disguise of an actual ship you've replicated you would actually have to just take it all apart and rebuild it so i built these obnoxious purple ships over here i'm gonna get in one i'm flying around for you just to show you it this is just something i kind of threw together real fast let's turn on our hood and here we are um so these are the ships just something i threw together kind of quickish do a roll just because we can um, so yeah, it's nothing really that special. This is just an enemy team ship. I just kind of wanted to make it big flashy colours just because it kind of works a little better for the projector to work in big flashy colours. So, if we go over here and go into our terminal, I'll show you the drone a little better. It's pretty small, um, so it could possibly fit down like small corridors and into like large bases. But if we just bring up our piston here. In fact, let me just speed up that piston for the sake of speed. There we go. And as you can see, rising out of the wall, we have a drone. It's a pretty cool drone. Here it is. So I'll give you a little look around it. This camera was originally like set back a little bit more, but I brought it forward because on this version of the ship, the hologram kind of distorts your vision if it's set back one, so I put it here, so the camera is now kind of clipping into the cockpit, so it's just kind of like flying a ship in first person mode. But here it is, you can see it's equipped with two Gatlings, because it's kind of an infiltrator, once you get into the base you can shoot at everyone and sabotage some sabotage stuff. You can replace these with rocket launchers, but I thought they'd have been a bit louder and scarier. I put these up to some small cargo containers, I haven't really played Survival Space Engineers, so I don't know if just sticking a cargo container on one of these panels works. I think it does. I think it does. I don't know if I have to put a connector there or something, but I'm pretty sure it does. If I have to put a connector there, I'll just move these turrets up one block. It's really no problem. So, yeah, here it is. It's, it's okay. We also have um, the reactors on top. And they're not hooked up to anything. You'll have to manually fuel these, I guess. But, to be honest, it's... um, You, know, you don't have to really have to do much setting up. You have the antenna on the back there. All the directional thrusters, and in the centre of this, I think it's just another reactor. And get a peek in there. Oh no, in the centre is um, actually our projector block, um, and that's going to project our disguise, if you, if you like. So if we come over to this panel here and jump in here, then there's a little ship in the middle there. There he is. How are you doing? So what we are going to do is click K and go to the Holographic Stealth Infiltrator and we are going to go to the Remote Control and click Control. So we are now controlling this ship. Let's turn off its parking and fly it around. You see it's quite agile for a small ship. It doesn't do too much side to side but upwards it's quite fast so you can kind of dodge out of the way of enemies it turns. 
All right, it doesn't go forward too fast, but oh, well, it's it's pretty maneuverable. Is what I'm trying to say. Ooh, should probably actually access the camera at this point. Um, actually no, not quite yet. Let me turn on the disguise first. Let me maybe turn it around a little bit so that we can all see its front. There we go. Is that right? Wrong way. There we go. So if I click number nine here, as you can see, we have turned on our holographic disguise number one. Now we're flying around. So this doesn't look too impressive in front of the station, but if we get into the front of space, you see it looks pretty pretty realistic. In front of a station where it's bright white, you can see right through it. So oh, let me just adjust the microphone. It's been slipping, slipping down the stem. There we go. Um, but you can kind of see inside it when I've put it in front of this white background of the space station. So there's a small drone right there, and once we fly forward um, so that the space is behind us and you have the space as your background, there we have our actual ship. And it looks quite realistic, especially from long ranges, so let me just fly back this way. A little bit up, there we go, let's fly over here. See, it looks quite realistic. Um, it does glow, I guess, which is a bit of a big giveaway. But if we go into camera view right now, and view. You may notice, well, we do have this kind of clipping with the hologram kind of problem here, but it's not really that much of an issue because it's just clipping straight into the cockpit. So it's just kind of like flying around in first person. But I think you see the point. If I just park this all the way over here, so let's say that's the base. You may be approaching it from quite a while away. So let's say we're approaching it from over here. This is where we are. And let's um, actually just get out of here and go over to the base. So if I'm just walking around here, I just see this big pink object floating towards us. And it looks like it's something in our factory. It's got the colours, it's got the shape. Um, it looks pretty realistic. Um, this one doesn't because I'm really close to it now. You can see everything about it. You can see right through it, in fact. But when I was kind of sat back here, I bet a good few of you didn't really notice it that much. I mean, if you're looking directly at it, you kind of do notice it, but if it's hidden away like that one is, um, and you're not looking directly at it, you don't really notice it that much, because it's not that different from everything else. So it's kind of like a, a neat little ship that you could possibly get away with flying around in an enemy base, or near an enemy base, enough to maybe do some recon, or maybe infiltrate it from a weak point, or even just find a weak point for your bigger gunner ships to then come in later. So if I just go and control the ship again, show you a little more about it. Eh. Let's get in here and click K. I'm going to go to the holographic stealth fighter. I mean holographic stealth infiltrator, which is the name of this craft. We'll click control, and we will also go and click view camera. So here we are viewing the camera. We're spinning around a little fast now. But it is quite man maneuverable. As you can see, you can spin very fast. So we can change directions quickly. And we can shoot stuff with our Gatlings if we want. So you've done a bit of damage there. Let's say that was like a reactor or something really important. We could just stand here for a bit and shoot it without many people noticing from far away. Obviously, you would hear the bullets if you were right here. But as soon as they come up close, we can just um, shoot them a little bit and go into a bit of a dogfight. Um, and the good thing about this also is it gives the illusion that your ship is bigger than it actually is. So a lot of the enemy shots and bullets will be missing you a lot. Um, so if I just go in close to this thing, turn our hologram off. Um, you can kind of see, even from this distance, you can't actually see like where the outline of the actual drone is. You can just kind of see the hologram overlaying it. So you'll be missing a lot of their shots. Um, and you'll be able to dodge very easily in these kind of crafts. So they're good for kind of getting up close to stations and then like getting into a bit of a dogfight, maybe taking out some of their um, better kind of infil infantry ships, um, kind of like these ones I've designed here. These are just something I put together really quickly with an obnoxious pink and purple colour scheme because um, I kind of find that bright colours kind of mask the ship quite well. Um, and especially if you have a black ship or a grey, a dark grey coloured um, colour scheme to your drone, then it's hard to see because um, it kind of just makes the colours stand out. 
If you have like a bright white ship, then um, you'll be able to see it right through the hologram. But it's kind of nice just to drive around. You could probably infiltrate a mining base with this. I just hit that. Oops, I'm fine. Um, so let's go into this person here. And here it is, just to have one last look at it. Let me just copy it over here and just kind of show you the innards of the thing. Um, as much as it's not really necessary in this case. Let me turn it around to face me a little bit. Hello there. Yep, my mic stand is breaking again. There we go. Is that a little better? I hope so. Um, so let me cut away at the sides of this here so I can kind of show you how this all works. And here it is. The main body of the ship. Which is this. This is the um, hologram block, I guess you can call it. Um, the projector, rather. And what this does is it projects um, ships, of which then you can take a welder up to it, and then you can just weld it up and build your ship. I've used it in this case to just hide the whole ship inside a different ship. And I could actually add another one to add another disguise if I wanted to disguise as something else right here um so i could put down another projector and you can even disguise as like large ships as well if you make this drone a large ship um which is very cool because these can only like this um these can only project ships that are of the same size of this ship um, which was kind of the main idea with this um even if you just disguise this of a ship which is bigger than it um the enemy's going to be missing a lot of the fires so guys that was my um ships um holographic kind of cloaking device if you like um if you did like the video make sure to leave a like it's very appreciated and of course do subscribe for some more space engineers content um and of course don't remember to comment down below what you'd like to see next time and if you want to see more of the series of course um but guys that is all we have time for today um there's only one thing left to say we all that. bye goodbye